Hi, in this video we're going to have a look at download speeds, okay, and the speed of data transfer is measured by the number of bits per second, BPS, or commonly known as the bit rate. So write this down, let's highlight bits per second, or BPS. Just like we saw in a previous video, we talked about tera, giga, mega, kilo, all in the form of bytes of file storage. So terabyte, gigabyte, megabyte, and so on. With download speeds, we say bits per second, okay? We're also gonna have a look at terabits per second, gigabits per second, megabits per second, and so on. Now with download speeds, we all um, download off the App Store, okay? And depending on your internet, okay? The 3G, whether you're Telstra or Optus, that can get up to about 20 uh, megabits per second. 4G, if you're on 4G, can get up to 40 megabits per second. And if you're lucky enough to have the, the new network, the National Broad, Broad, Broadband Network, the NBN, you can get download speeds up to 100 okay, megabits per second, which is really fast. Let's have a think about this, okay? So I've already mentioned them. We've got terabit per second. Oops. Terabit per second. Okay, or TBPS. Next one under that is gigabit per second. What's next after giga and mega? Megabit per second. Kilobit per second. And then we just have bit per second. That's the smallest unit. Bit per second BPS. So if you remember yesterday, or in the last video, when we had a look at these prefixes, tera, giga, mega, kilo, all right? It was just it's exactly the same order, except yesterday it was about bytes, terabyte, gigabyte. For file storage today, it's about bits, because when we talk about download speeds, we have to talk about bits per second. Now, in a question, in a moment, you're going to see conversion type questions. So I'll just scroll down quickly. You're going to see stuff like this. Convert 4 megabits per second to kilobits per second. And then here, this is just BPS. How many megabits per second does that equal? So we need to know how to convert. We know, okay that, let me get a different color here, with download speeds, a terabit per second is exactly the same as a thousand gigabits per second. So one terabit per second is the same as a thousand gigabits per second. One gigabit per second, we times by a thousand and it's a thousand megabits per second. Okay, a megabit per second is a thousand kilobits per second, and a kilobit per second is a thousand bits per second. Now, again, the opposite of timesing by a thousand to go up the other way is divide by a thousand. So, fill this in. It's a great um, diagram thing or flowchart to come back to when answering the conversion type questions. Now yesterday, because we found out that you know, we used to think that a terabyte was a thousand gigabytes, but it's a thousand and twenty-four. We use a multiple of two to the power of ten. So file storage is power um, is multiples of two to the power of ten, but download speeds is just one thousand. Okay, so today we're just dealing with timesing or dividing by one thousand. Let's have a look down here. First example, let's convert 4 megabits per second to kilobits per second. So we have to start at megabits per second. 
to kilobits per second. So we're going from megabits per second down to kilobits per second. What do we have to do? We need to times by a thousand. So get your calculator out. All I have to do is times by 1,000. We don't even need our calculator for this one. 4 times 1,000, we can fill that in straight away. That is 4,000 kilobits per second. So if I say to you a download speed of 4 megabits per second, that is the same as downloading 4,000 kilobits per second. Let's have a look at this next one. We need to go from bits per second to megabits per second. Let's go and have a look. So we're going from bits per second. We'll get a different color here. We are going from, get rid of that. We are going from bits per second. I'll go over here, out of the, away from the other highlighted. Two, where are we going? Double check, megabits per second. So bits per second, all the way up here passing kilobits per second to megabits per second. Just like yesterday with file storage, when we go up two, we have to do two steps. I need to divide by a thousand, and then divide by a thousand again to first go from bits per second to kilobits per second, and then up to megabits per second. So all we have to do is divide by a thousand, then divide by a thousand. So divide by a thousand, divide by one thousand. Get your calculator out. You've got two million. Divide by a thousand, divide by a thousand. We get two megabits per second. Dividing by a thousand, dividing by a thousand is the same as dividing by uh, one million there. But it's nice and easy just to remember the multiple and division of 1,000, okay? And just knowing how many steps do I have to do, and it's much easier. All right, last example. Let's have a look here. How long would it take to download a 2.5 gigabyte file at a speed of 20 megabits per second? Answer in minutes. So you've got this file, 2.5 gigs. That's a pretty large file. That could be a movie. 2.5 gigabytes at a speed of 20 megabits per second. So the speed is 20 megabits per second. A couple of things we have to do here. I get blue. All right, so our speed is in terms of megabits per second. So this is gigabits, gigabytes, sorry. Let's change gigabytes to megabytes first. So let's go 2.5 gigabytes equals how many megabytes? So this is thinking back to yesterday, or last video, gigabytes down to megabytes. What was it a multiple of? It was a multiple of two to the power of 10. So what you have to do here is times by two to the power of 10. So get your calculator out. We get 2,560 megabytes. Now, this here is not megabytes per second, it's megabits per second. Can you remember to the last video and tell me how many bits, okay, are in a byte? How many bits make up a byte? That's right, it's eight, okay? So one byte has got eight bits. So if I've got here 2,560 megabytes, let's times it by eight to find out how many megabits we have. So 2,560 times eight, this equals 20,480 megabits. And the reason I have to get it in terms of bits is because download speeds is megabits per second. So I had to go from gigabytes to megabytes. I then multiplied by eight here because we know one byte equals eight bits. And we can say one megabyte equals eight megabits. 
So that's why we multiplied our megabytes by eight. And we found that that is 20,480 megabits. So your file is 20,480 megabits and the download speed is 20 megabits per second. So every single second, 20 megabits is downloaded. After two seconds, 40 megabits is done. After three seconds, 60 megabits is done. But a quicker way, okay, the um, download time, a quicker way to do it is divide. I can divide the total amount, divide by 20 megabits per second. I want to see how many seconds it's going to take. So 20,480 divided by 20, we get 1,024 seconds. But the question says here, answer in minutes. So 1,024 seconds, what do I have to do to convert to minutes? How many seconds are in a minute? There are 60, so we need to divide by 60. Therefore, 1,024 divided by 60. This equals 17.06 recurring. 17.07 minutes, okay? Now you can also press your degrees, uh, minutes, seconds button here. That is 17 minutes and four seconds, but it just wants it in minutes, so we'll just put 17.07 minutes. That's it for this lesson. Well done.